sister who travels here from Ohio, uh, Martha Gravatt. She's a leader of the fight against the plant closing in Twinsburg, Ohio, just announced again after the workers voted for their contract, then they closed the plant. We'd like to bring up Martha to talk about the fight that's being waged there, just like the fight here in Michigan, and of course it's a fight all over the country. They didn't tell, tell me I was supposed to speak. I'm a little hoarse, but we're all in this together. We're all part of the working class, and we all have to stand up. We have to stand up to the banks. I was so excited when I found out that the auto worker caravan was joining forces with the moratorium campaign and building for the People's Summit. It was so powerful that people who are losing their jobs and people who are losing their homes have come together because the people who are losing their jobs today, if we don't fight back, are going to be the people losing their homes tomorrow. Solidarity, global working class solidarity, that is the only answer to whipsawing. We cannot allow it. We cannot get in the mindset that if they close a plant in Mexico, we think, oh good, more work for us. Or if they close a plant in Canada, we think, oh good, more work for us. No, that thinking, that is dead end thinking. That is a strategy for the death of the labor movement. That's not, the, this consolidation, this downsizing is a worldwide attack on the working class. The National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa has told GM that if the layoffs don't stop, they're going to get a strike that they'll never forget. What they're doing in South Africa is closing up a Hummer plant and moving the work to Louisiana. What they're doing to my plant in Twinsburg, Chrysler says they're going to close the plant and move the work to Detroit. Are the workers here my enemies? No! Are the workers in Ohio your enemies? No! Are the workers of the world our enemies? No! We are all fighting the same capitalist, rotten system. And it's the banks, the same banks that have put so many people on the street. They want what they they want theirs. They say the UAW, they're just a junior creditor. We're the secured lenders. We're better than you. We gotta come first. The hell with that. We make all the vehicles. It's by our hands that these vehicles hit the road. They put my plant, Brother Bell Browning's plant and six other Chrysler plants, they said that is a bad asset. That's the old Chrysler. That's the bad Chrysler. And why is it bad? What did we do that was bad other than go to work every day? Give the company the best years of our lives? What did we do that was so bad? We didn't do anything bad. They needed collateral so the Treasury could give Chrysler money to pay to the banks. And why are they in debt? Why are they in debt to J.P. Morgan Chase and Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and all these others? They borrowed money for a vicious restructuring to put us out of work. In two years, we've lost over 50% of the UAW jobs at Chrysler, 32,000 and growing. But they had to borrow money so they could dangle these buyouts and get us to leave and not replace us. Or so they could put robots in the plants and put the humans out of the plants. They had to borrow money and they're in debt and they're closed our, try to close our plants because they want to pay off the banks. And we're saying no. And they're saying, oh, but it's the law. We got to do it that way. They're the secured creditors. There's a lot of laws. We got a contract. The contract said that they cannot close our plants. They violated that contract. Is that illegal? They violate the Full Employment Act. The Treasury, under Bush and now again, interfered with our collective bargaining agreement.
And is that illegal? And isn't it a violation of an international law? This is a job as a human rights. That's the law.